Hey Libra, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'm doing a second video for you guys, a second reading, because the first one was so confusing to me. I couldn't tell who was who in that reading. So, and I couldn't tell if there were two bad people or one. It was very confusing. So, we're just going to do a whole nother reading. I'm going to ask that different energy come through. So, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, we're ready for the Libra reading. This time, can we have some different energy come through for other people, for people who need this reading? Not the same weird reading we just had a few minutes ago, um, where Libra was going to blow something up because somebody was mis doing something bad. Anyway, we need a whole different story to come through, please, for the Libra reading. For anyone with Libra placements or anyone else who's guided to see this reading, what are the messages? Send through a whole different energy for this reading, please. For the month of April 2020, Libra reading, what are the most important messages for the people that need them the most? Let's see what comes out, Libra. Hopefully we'll get a total different story this time, I hope. Okay, Libra, what's important for the Libra reading, please? April 2020 the whole month. What else is important for Libra here, please? For anyone who's guided to watch this Libra reading, what are the important messages? Okay, wow. Oh, that's totally different. Wow. These cards were in that other reading, though. But justice was reversed in that one, I think. Okay, what else? Tell us more about this Libra reading. We want a whole different energy to come through for this Libra reading. Ugh, too many. Can we just get one or two, please? Just one or two. Libra reading. What's the most important things we need to know for this Libra reading? Okay. Anything else? Wow, so. Wow, you've been through it, Libra. Okay, what else? Libra reading. What's important here for the Libra reading? What do we need to know? Okay, one more. Okay. Oh, that's too many. Just one or two. One or two. I don't mind one or two extra cards, but not that many. Okay. All right, now... Let's take a look here. We got one extra card. I will say that I feel like you've really been through it. Look at this. This is you, Queen of Swords, and this is somebody who's been really beaten down. Five of Swords. I said that before this one even came out when I saw this Queen of Swords. Because this, in this deck, the Queen of Swords has had the life sucked out of her. Absolutely. All right, so let's talk about this. So something, you've really been through it, and you are recovering from what looks like a tower to me. Even though this is the five of chalices, it came out reversed, thankfully. It always looks like the tower to me. See how it's just like the part of the house that looks like the tower, and she's up in the tower, and it's on fire? But anyway, that's how it looks always to me visually. You're coming out of that five of chalices, which is really good, and you're coming in with justice. Uh, the only thing is, this is weird, because in the other Libra reading I did, justice was reversed, and judgment was in the upright. In that deck, judgment was a really good card. In this deck, judgment's a 50-50 crapshoot here, <laughs> okay? Um, thankfully, it's in the upright, because in the reverse, it, it's, it's a little bit harsher. But in this one, it's 50-50. We have the devil here going off the cliff, you know, as if, you know, going to hell, but he's taking people with him. So people made wrong choices by following a bad person. And up here we have these people getting their angel wings and going up to heaven. And then we have someone right here who's not sure which way they're going to go, but they look to me like they're going to go up. All right. So they haven't earned their angel wings yet, but they haven't fell off the cliff either. So interesting. So, this is all about choices here. 
So, I would say, Libra, you've really been through it. There may be an option ahead of you in a situation. I feel like, um, you know, there's going to be, after a tower in your life or something really harsh in your life that you're coming out of, balance comes back. And now we have, like, this choice. What do I do? Do I take the devil's route or do I get my angel wings? So something just comes through for you, but it leaves you with a chance, an option, a choice. It's almost as if the universe says, we're going to give you some kind of justice and balance. We're going to get you out of something you've been through that was really hard. But we're going to leave you with a choice to make. And we're going to step back and see what you do with it. That's what it feels like. It's almost like a karmic test. All right, we have here the Three of Wands reversed. We have here the Ace of Pentacles. Very interesting. There's no Ace of Pen There's no Pentacle in this card. But she's got the key to the Ace of Pentacles. It's in reverse. Um, and we also have you, who's been beaten up and just had the life sucked out of her, along with this Five of Swords. So this... this has been done to you by people, bad people, probably. All right, so we've got the Two of Cups, chalices, I'm sorry, same thing. Um, we've got the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Chalices. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, I can definitely see you're going through some kind of a depression here because you've been carrying too many burdens and you've had way too much on your plate. All right, so we have the world here. It's in the reverse. So we a old cycle wants to end and a brand new cycle, see the birth, that would be the new cycle, wants to start. But it's in the reverse, so it's on hold right now. Um, I'm just looking back here to see what's been going on. Okay, so you got a cycle that wants to close out and a new cycle that wants to come in. This Nine of Wands is a lot like the Ten of Wands in other decks. Somebody's been carrying way too many burdens on their back and needs to dump them. So you're holding too many burdens. You're under a lot of stress. Nine of Swords. These are nines. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. Under a lot of stress, but look, the, the cage is open. I don't think you realize that. You're about to get out of whatever this is and be able to graduate this big cycle, I feel. You, you're just in such a funk you don't see it. You're, you're depressed. This four of chalices is all about someone who's sitting in front of the TV eating potato chips and doing nothing. They're, and look at them. They look horrible. They look miserable. Okay, somebody's very depressed here. They've been beaten down. They've had the life sucked out of them. All right, we need to look and see if this is a choice that's before you or if this is something someone else chose that caused you all this pain. That's an interesting situation. So let's get right into it. Because we have you really getting, you know, you're really beaten down by something someone did or someone, some several someones did. With the Five of Swords, it could always be one person who beat you down or a group that beat you down. So let's get to the bottom of it. I want to use the um, Celtic Universal deck here. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages for this Libra reading for anyone with Libra placements or anyone else who's guided to see it here on YouTube. It's for the whole month of April 2020. Please help me clarify the cards that we've already laid down here so that we can get a real clear picture of what's going on for this reading. One more shuffle. All right, let's do it. Let's look at that Five of Chalices reversed, please. Okay, wow. All right, Magician reverse. Yep, somebody was a nasty, nasty person. Five of Swords, Magician reverse. This is somebody who really manipulated you. This is someone who took advantage of you as well. Let's look at Justice. Why is it here? Justice. Oh, I thought something flipped. Nope. Okay. Is, why is Justice here, please? Now, Justice is a Libra card. There's something very balanced and just coming into your love life or your home life, family life, something here with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups to me is a very happy card. So something just is coming in after you were really hurt, treated badly. Tell me about 
judgment. Why is the judgment card here, please? This particular judgment card is really interesting. Why is the judgment card here, please? Oh, sun reverse. Absolutely. So there's been depression here. So listen, I almost feel like you can sink down to the depths of depression and stay in that devil energy, which pulls us down, right? Or you can rise up because right now you're in a really depressive state. But let's get deeper into it because this could be part of why somebody could have done something. I want one more on that particular just, uh, judgment card, please. Why is that judgment card here for the Libra reading? Why? This could have been a Leo that did something to you. Why is this particular judgment card here, please? Why is judgment here? Oh, come on. Sorry, my cards keep getting all messed. They keep standing up. Why is judgment here, please? Absolutely. All right, it's a Leo. So there's a Queen of Wands who's, who did you dirty. Somebody really did you nasty. We also have here uh, the Nine of Pentacles. So abundance is coming in after somebody. And look, this, this card always reminds me of the Devil card in this deck, this Queen of Wands, especially when she's in reverse. So some kind of Leo took, went the Devil route, did you dirty. I feel like um, abundance is coming in for you, though, with the Nine of Pentacles here. This could also be a male. Um, Queen of Wands for me is gender neutral, so this could be a Leo female or male that did you dirty. Um, I do feel as though you're going to get justice, though, and happiness is coming back in. You're going to have happiness. You're going to have abundance. Everything's coming back into you. Um, let me look at the Three of Wands reversed. Why is it here for the Libra reading? Three of Wands reversed. This is like just not moving forward. What happened here? Yep, three of pentacles reversed. This could have been third party. You're not moving forward and you're not um, working on something with someone at the very least. You're not going to work with them and you're not going to move forward with them either. Let's look at the um, ace of pentacles here. Libra reading. Why is the ace of pentacles reversed here in the center of the reading? Oh my goodness. Look at this. We have Chariot Reverse and Queen of Pentacles. So, very interesting. I almost feel like this is you, Libra, getting your pentacle. Like I told you, there's no real pentacle here, but there's the keys to the pentacle. It's on hold right now because something was put to a stop with the Chariot here because this Queen of Wands did something or King of Wands. There you are accepting your pentacle i highly believe you're going to get your pentacle aces for me ace of pentacles aces always come through but something's got to give first so we just got to find out what it is that has been keeping you from getting the pentacle because i almost feel like there it is that's when you receive it and then you turn in you go from the dead queen of swords who's been through the ringer to the abundant grounded beautiful queen of pentacles something here was put on hold there was a stop put to something now you might have stopped it because you refused to work with somebody here but for good reason you were being mistreated let's talk about this two of chalices please why is two of chalices here two of chalices why is it here Death card reverse, High Priestess reverse, and Three of Swords reverse. So, Death card reverse is being stuck. So, something's very stuck in this partnership. Now, part, this Two of Chalices can be strictly platonic. It can be any kind of relationship, or it could be love. Some kind of secrets came out. It was heartbreaking, and you're trying to heal from it. So, something around your partnership, whatever kind of partnership it is for you, for everyone, it's going to be different. Something came out that was heartbreaking, and um, you've been stuck, or they were stuck. Something happened. I feel like so, I feel like they, you've been stuck because you've been healing. You might have purposely put yourself in a stuck position because you've got chariot reverse, death reverse, and three of wands reverse. I'm not moving forward with you. That's what that all says. All right, let's look at um, let's look at the two of pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? This is a decision that needs to be made. Tell me. 
to move forward. Oh, yes, to move away from the past. So we've got here, and this is how they came out exactly. The Fool and the Five of Cups. So you're taking one last look back at the path, past and all the regret and sorrow of the past, and you're moving away from it proudly, happily, and getting unstuck. So you're making a decision to get unstuck from the past. I almost feel like somebody really did you dirty and it's kept you stuck in the past. And now you're ready to move away from it. Let's look at this um, Knight of Cups because this can be an offer, but it sometimes is an apology. What's the Knight of Chalices doing here, please? Knight of Chalices. All right, yeah, absolutely. Seven of Wands reversed, Eight of Wands reversed. So, look, the offer came in, and you said, no, thank you, I'm not moving forward with you. Eight of Wands, again, in reverse. I'm not doing it. Seven of Wands, I don't want to, I don't want to always be on guard, never knowing what's coming at me. I'm not going to fight for it. I don't want it. I'm not moving forward with you. No, thank you to the offer. I feel as though you're going to reject an offer. Tell me about the Five of, oh, tell me. I skipped the Queen of Swords. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords here, please. Queen of Swords, Libra reading. Why is the Queen of... Yep, secrets came out. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. These, whatever these secrets were, were devastating to you. They nearly killed you. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords, please. Why is she here for Libra's reading? Oh, we got a challenge. All right, challenge to move forward. These secrets challenged your forward movement. You've been stuck. Five of Swords, please. Five of Swords. This, yep, Five of Swords again. You're coming out of it. Somebody from your past or somebody who was supposed to be a soulmate mistreated you. Tower reverse. Put you in a tower. So you lived through some kind of a tower moment because of something someone did to you. And bottom of the deck, you have the Hangman and the Judgment card. Beautiful cards, right? There's your spirit guides going, go, 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 Libra. Come on, move forward. It's time. It's like that aha moment, that awakening, and you're getting it because you're so grounded now. You have gone within. You've put yourself in an uncomfortable position to see things from another perspective as the Hangman here. Getting grounded. Look at all the growth. I mean, look at the colors. Beautiful. There's so much healing going on here. So much growth. Your crown chakra is open. Your heart chakra is open. You've been looking at this from a different perspective. Spirit is like, go, 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 get unstuck. Spirit wants you to get away from this stuck energy that you've been in. They're like, please move forward. Move forward. We have a brand new cycle for you. If you keep moving forward, you're going to bump right into your new cycle. Gorgeous. I usually don't go to the back like that on the, the clarifying deck. I usually look at it, but I, I don't go that far back. But boy, does it make sense. I feel like that's exactly what's going on with you. You have been completely and utterly depressed. Look, from something you went through, okay? Now, we're going to talk about that because I want to go over this real quick with you. Just so we make sure that you understand what's going on in this reading. You lived through a tower, and I told you this was the tower, and it was the tower. There it is. This one looks more like the tower to me than this one does, and this one is the tower. In reverse, already happened, in reverse, already happened. You have lived through a tower that a manipulator caused for you. Somebody was taking advantage of you, mistreating you, and manipulating you. Twice here. We even have the Five of Swords clarifying the five of swords five of swords reversed is clarifying the first five of swords that we were dealing with so somebody was mistreating you somebody that was either from your past or uh, could be a soulmate of some kind but if they were they were toxic i feel caused a tower in your life sucked the living light life out of you especially when you found out the secrets and caused you to get stuck you were frozen in time, I feel. We're going to come back up to there. You've been healing from these secrets that came out that have kept you stuck in your partnership, whatever kind of partnership it is. The offer came in and you said, no, thank you. I don't want to live like that anymore. I'm not fighting for it. You've made a firm decision to take one look at the, the past and move away from it. 
you are not working on it. Both of these cards say not moving forward, not working on it. Center of the reading. There is a brand new, beautiful, solid, stable new beginning coming for you. But everything's been on hold, but you're still getting it. And you're going to be the queen of pentacles when it comes through. Justice and happiness is coming in for you. <sighs> Somebody went the wrong route. Somebody followed the devil down to the pits of hell. I feel like it was a Leah woman or man. It's bringing you abundance, though. And it could have been about money. So, wow. Whatever it is, you are getting your pentacle. And you are going to move away from the past after all that was done to you. And you are refusing any kind of relationship whatsoever with whoever this is. You are too grounded for them. They're the devil here. These are people who are bad. And this could have been one person or it could have been a group of people. The ringleader was either the queen of wands or the king of wands. A Leo. All right. So that was the ringleader. I don't know how many people were involved with this, but I have a feeling it could have been one. I'm going to say one to five people. You're too grounded to hang out with people like this. You're done with this group of people. You are in being encouraged by spirit to get yourself unstuck. Get away from it and start your new beginning because they have a brand new beginning waiting for you. And with that new beginning comes something really amazing. This Ace of Pentacles will turn in the upright and you will receive your pentacle. It's been on hold. All right, beautiful energy. All right, I know that it was rough getting there. Boy, you really did go through it. All right, let's take a quick peek. This could be stemming off the other reading. So if it is, it is. But at least this time it wasn't as confusing. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages for anyone that resonated with this reading. Libra reading. For anyone with Libra placements. For anyone that resonated with this reading at all. What comes next for anyone that resonated with this reading? What comes next? What comes next for anyone that resonated? Beautiful. Oh, there's that confusion again. Oh, look at this. My goodness gracious. You got to see this, you guys. All right. So we've got the choices. Now, remember... I said, if you're offered any choices, be careful. Because I feel like the universe is bringing something beautiful in for you, but there might be some weird test for you to take. That's going to be, are you going to choose one of these things that are the devil, something bad? Because with, with these choices before you and the Seven of Cups, some of them are good for you and some of them are bad. And we have here this card. Remember, as soon as I saw it, I said, if something comes up, it might be a karmic test, so be careful. Be real careful. You stay in high. Um, we had a reading like this last week, I think, too. Somebody, I don't know if it was for Libra. I don't remember who it was for, but somebody had like a karmic test coming at them where they had to make sure they stayed in very high integrity. So if you were presented with anything, especially after going through all this, make sure you stay integritous, okay? Because that person's still lurking. Five of Swords person. The person who puts you through all this is still lurking. We have here the Magician. Is this the same person? Is this the same person who put you through this? We had the Magician. That was the culprit. And we had the Five of Swords. Mistreating you. Doing evil things. The Devil's work. Secrets came out. So, I'd say, if the tables get turned, let's say, and it's your choice, are you going to act the same way towards them? Maybe that's what this is, because this almost seems like the same thing coming back again. Now, keep in mind, the same nasty person might come back again. What are you going to do this time? Now, you do have an opportunity to manifest in abundance. This is your counterpart and you're coming through very grounded in the energy of a Capricorn Taurus Virgo and they're coming through as a Capricorn Taurus Virgo man at the end could this be the same person it could be 
It could be. Um, either way, these are all repeat cards, really. I mean, this one feels like this one in a way. Even though this one's Judgment and this one's five, uh, Seven of Cups, they're the same concept. Of be careful which way you go. Be careful what you choose. And all these are repeat cards. Five of Swords, the Magician reversed over there. It's in the upright here. And the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. I want to get a quick peek at... You know, we do have here something getting balanced out at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> I'm going to put it back in there. I want to get a quick peek at the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here, please? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Justice. That's the person bringing you your justice. And happiness. So that's not the tyrant. The tyrant is that queen or king of wands. Oh, absolutely. Look. Bottom of the deck. Your justice coming in. I'm telling you, something's coming in for you. Tell me more about this five of swords. I want to know if you're going to overcome this five of swords. Ugh. It's way too many. We just want one or two. Tell me more about the five of swords, please. Libra reading. What comes next here? Five of swords. What is this? Oh my gosh, they're falling out all over. All right, be careful. The offer is going to come, and it's going to lead you right off the cliff if you're not careful. Look, be very, very careful. There might be an offer or an apology coming in from this person. Pre-warning, be very careful what you choose. They are liable to lead you right off the cliff. Choose wisely. Two of Pentacles. I don't know what this is about. I hope that you will tell me, but right under Choose Wisely is that Queen of Wands again. Be very, very careful at whatever comes at you from this tyrannical person. They, I feel, are a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, man or woman. They're coming through here as a Leo, but you know, they could be really anybody who caused disappointment and sadness around you. All right, be very, very careful. There is justice to be had here, and there's something coming in for you. But I think it's going to depend on what you do. I don't know why I feel like this is another one of those damn karmic tests. The karmic tests. Do I follow the devil off the cliff, or do I go up to heaven with my angel wings? All right, guys, I hope that this makes sense to you. It's very confusing to me. Lib uh, Libra readings have been confusing to me all night. All right, so whatever's going on with you guys, please make a little note down down below and comment and tell me, yep, that's my crazy-ass life. I got it. I get it. All right. All right. Let me um see. Angels, what do you want anybody that resonated with this reading to focus on, please? Wow, honesty. Absolutely. Remember how I said you might be tested here. Just Answer with high integrity and honesty. Clarity. Clarity's coming in. And inspiration. This could be inspirational for you. Whatever this is, you're going to get some kind of clarity around somebody who is doing something shady. As long as you take the high road, you're golden. Love it, guys. All right. Please fill me in. I am so dying to know what's going on with you guys. All right, Libra. That's it. That's your second reading for the month, and I am done with you guys. All right, great. Thanks for tuning in. If you need a personal reading, hit me up below. All my information is right beneath this reading in the description box. Have a great April. Bye.